Annyeonghaseyo and welcome back. So this is the second part of lesson 15. This one has to deal with ko. Um, ko we learned before when you do like ha go, mana go, mo go, something that says this and this. This one is slightly a little bit different. This one has to do with sunso. Sunso is sequence or order. So an order of how things will go. So looking at the example, you can see that it says pabul moko. So pabul moko. Then they have like a sunso pretty much saying that this is going to be the next thing that he does. And then it says iro takayo. So he's brushing his teeth. So first he eats and then he brushes his teeth. So what we're doing today is learning how to use coal for sequences instead of just for and. So it has two different meanings. So when you hear somebody use something like managol moko, you just have to remember that it can mean and or it can mean in this sequence. If it's in a sequence, that means that the first thing they say goes first, followed by the next thing. So let's go over a few different examples. So first we have this right here. So we have something like undongul, undongul, heyo. So that's the first sentence, and then we have muru, ma sha yo. And we want to say that first I work out and then I drink water. So we can change that into Undongul Hago Muru Ma Show. Yo. The one thing to note when doing like hago or ko form, usually you don't change the first thing into like a past or a future tense. You just change the ending thing into a past or a future tense. So this could also be written as, so maybe if we want to say like aj undongul. Ha go Muru Mashasa Yo. So, like yesterday, I worked out Undongo Ha go Muru Mashasa Yo. Then I drank water. You can also write that in the future tense, like. Let's say nail, as in tomorrow. Undongul, hago, muru, mashil, go, ye. Yo. So tomorrow, undongul hago. I will work out. Murul mashil koyo. Then drink water. But for all sequences, the last thing is what you conjugate. So not the not the one in the middle, but the one at the end. And you can also do this for more than one thing. If you want to say like I did this, then this, then this, then this, then this. Then this. You know, you can just hago, manago, mashilkoyo. So that's like three different things instead of just one. So just remember that you just change the ending of the final verb, not any of the other ones in the middle. And we can try one more. Chung soru. Heyo Naso Pa Esa Shui Oyo 
that goes to Chong Soru Hago Sopa Esa Shui O Yo so chong soda hako I clean then so paisa shuioyo then I rest on the couch and that would be how you use coal for sequences so there's the top again where they show the example and how to use it followed by one two three four it says two munjangul yon kyo so you're just connecting two sentences just like I did before I think this one is pretty simple you just take the first one and then you turn it into the go form and then you just keep the second sentence and that just shows that you did this then this then we have the bottom where there is four different words then you're looking at the pictures and then you're choosing the right sequence of things so first you have to look at the picture and see what verb you should use and then you change that into the co form to show the sequence of doing one thing and then doing the next on the bottom here, you see like ojon and ohu, so like saying what you do in the morning and then what you do in the afternoon, um, so for different times. So we use this to say like what we do like on a daily basis. So here it says Jessica, she toyo ire potong mo heyo ojane chongsuru hago ohue matae kayo chayashi nun yo. Ojane Hongugo Konguru Hago Ohue Suyoyo. So for a Saturday, what do you do? So we just practice that in class. We didn't write anything down. We just practice it together. And then here is the Uki where you have this little kul or post and then you read the post and then you answer the two questions below it. It has to do with the two different moonbops that we learned today and on the last lesson and you just put those together and you just answer the questions just remember words that you don't know you always should jot them down and study them so that you can keep building on your vocabulary then we have the sikki which they always give you like a list already and the only thing you're doing is just filling in the blanks on the bottom so you fill it in the way that you're supposed to if it's supposed to have a ko or just like a simple ending you have to see what ending you need to use and you just put that in. And based on the ilki and the sikki, you can write your own little post. This is what I came up with. You should probably try to write your own. Um, using the ilki, you can kind of see what you should use and what you should change to fit your own needs. And then from there, that's how you can write your um, cool or your post right here, just like I did. Um, some of my words are a little bit different because I, I know some other grammars that haven't been like introduced yet. But you can look at them and kind of get a hint or an idea of how you should be using them. And these are the ending words for the lesson. Then we have this map of South Korea. It says, Hangugae. Hengjong, Kuyok, so like borderlines and like the different like dolls in South Korea. Um, you can see where Seoul is right here. It says Seoul Tuk Bilshi. So that's in Gyeonggi-do. Um, so I'm in here in this area. Um, but like there's other different parts to South Korea that some of you guys might live in. If you already live here, you probably know what doll you live in but this is pretty cool there's still some that i don't know because i haven't been to many places i think the ones that i'm most familiar with would be like kyonggi-do and like chejido chejido because i feel like it's just like a famous thing that people talk about a lot so i'm kind of used to chejido and obviously that's a place i would love to go to you know or down to um pusan area um which i would assume would be kwanju gwang yokshi Chora Namdo, but who knows? I could be totally wrong of that. Um, I need to really travel 
in Korea when I get some time. <laughs> so I can visit all these doughs, hopefully, um, at least the countryside so I can show you guys some other things in my regular videos. But that is it. Annyeonghaseyo. You're still here? Thanks for watching the video until the end. Please don't forget to check out the description box below for info on my friends that were in the video. Hi! <laughs> product links, my other social media platforms, and my new product designer. If you guys love the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to comment because I really love reading and writing back to comments that fans leave. And thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.